Another site found. Perhaps its data will tell me something useful. Hey guys, welcome back. I've been at this for I a little bit. I've collected enough data to extrapolate the location of a component necessary to assemble my body. I will provide a signal. That's it. Okay, let's do it before signal I run out of... Signal location uploaded to PDA. Before I run out of oxygen, a water analysis station. This is new. Um, like, I had, um, basically, I've been using the, uh, the topography map of the Sea Glide to find my way, basically, to as deep a point as I possibly can. Um, I've already marked, like, took a note of two points in here where I could find, uh, alien stuff, but this was neither of them, which means that I s I'm still looking for the two. Uh, where would they possibly be? Um, I guess we'll just keep looking. Yeah. I uh, see you. I can't clip through the trees to get you. Uh, oh, I did see you. There you are. The artifact you found contains traces of information suggesting what has become of my people. Not something that you'd like to share with the class. Okay, well that's uh, two out of three, Dan. Welcome aboard, Captain. The sea monkeys have changed their tune. Whoa. If only I could let them know what I need. Maybe they could bring me something useful next time. How do humans function with such a fallible and inferior body? Excuse you? My body is anything but <laughs> inferior. I work hard for my body to be able to do what it does. Yes, but its overall form is not ideal. For example, consider its use of primitive ball and socket joints. Is there anything you don't find primitive? Humans bartered with evolution to get more brain wrinkles and opposable thumbs. It is true, the opposable thumb is excellent. But all corporeal forms are temporary. The ability to be reborn when a body breaks down is paramount. My body is my own and I cherish it. It grows with me. Humans have one life. We plant trees we can never experience the shade of. We build for the next generation. Noble, but again, truly inefficient. You are incredibly frustrating, you know that? I hope to see the forms of my people again. I imagine you would. Do you know, uh, humans have a tendency of living like they're going to live forever. I think very few people... Um... Ah, yeah, no, this is it as well. I'm still looking for the big array I found somewhere down here. Uh, you know, I, I think we would pass along our bodies uh, were we able to. I think that would be a thing that humanity would be very, very interested in. It's not a, a bonus that we don't have it. It does sometimes make us live uh, well, but other times not so much. Hey. Hmm. Hi. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Oh god. One when I was down there, and I don't think I captured this, um, I think it might be a little difficult to find. But one popped up right in front of me as I was kind of just like thinking about my next move. And um, I kind of like it, it, it gave me a fright because I thought they were gonna go, you know, try and steal my sea glide or something like that. So I kind of shot off. But then when I got in, I got that notification about the wall. Ow. Worth it. <laughs> Where am I? Have I found my way to... Oh, there actually isn't anything really here. Um... What the hell was I saying? Yeah, yeah, and then when I got in, I got that notification about gifts from the sea monkey. They appear to have changed their tune indeed. I thought, like, she might have thought initially they were getting more aggressive, but no, that is the opposite. They remain cute and cuddly, and I'm okay with that. No, it, whatever I'm looking for won't be in this direction, will it? It's more likely to be towards uh, Station Zero. That was a warper for a bloody second there, jeez. Alright, I'm still searching. It's taking a long time, but, uh, you know, we're making progress. Slow progress, but progress.
Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Oh, I never read this. Um, the, this apparent research device seems built to determine the chemical components and properties of water samples. Uh, testing for levels of Cara, spectroscopic analysis, experimental application of light, heat, or chemical compounds via the cylindrical core at the center of the storage chamber. Makes sense. Um, yeah. I am very, very close to giving up. Um... Yeah, I, I just I cannot seem to find um, this this array that I found once inside these nests. I really can't. Um, so, for now, we might move on and spend the rest of the episode doing something very specific, which will be fun. Let's uh, let's get back to base and see about doing that. I think. See this big cave system underneath me? I've explored it um, several times now. Actually, it always leads towards the same thing. Oh goodness. Yeah, okay, a little bit of work will be required then. Uh, let's grab it from the habitat module in the meantime. Uh, that was the one that contained the water sampler thing, um, but I just cannot find what I seem to remember being not not too far up down of a monkey nest. Whoa. Is that my cat at the door? I guess we gotta find out. I don't care, just so I don't suffocate. Ta da! Do you want to actually screw it? the cat can wait? There you go. You've grown, I see. Horseshoe shrub. Very nice, very autumnal, I like it. Right, well, let's go put the titanium away. The reason I say the cat can wait is because it might not be them, it might be my partner who is shuffling around outside. Uh, she'll be heading out soon to get her hair cut. Which I'm only partially jealous. Here we go. Alrighty. Right, well, um, I guess a little bit of waiting is required. Um, so yeah, whilst my batteries are charging, I guess uh, I'll just hang around. Hey guys, so I swam around for a little bit longer, um, looking for uh, the. <clears throat> actually discovered that it wasn't the the array. Um, it was this. It was the obelisk. Um, the array was. I don't, there's not a picture, um, but that's what I was talking about. I looked around for a bit longer and I honestly, I don't, well, I know for sure now, but I didn't, I don't think it, I didn't, sorry, tense issues. Welcome aboard, Captain. I started thinking that it wasn't where I thought it was, uh, that I kind of got my information backwards somehow. And having looked it up um, and uh, taken kind of a glance, not like the full answer or anything, I think I'm right. Uh, I think that it was never around here. I think it was like somewhere west of the Delta Station dock instead. Um, though I didn't look in, into it any further than that. Uh, but, you know, theoretically I'd already been there. So, uh, yeah, we're just going to kind of like bite the bullet and just say that for now we're not going to find it. Maybe we'll, we will never find it again. Um, the fact that we find and found and scanned it once already probably means we have the benefits from it um, regardless. But uh, yeah, no, instead what we're going to do um, is we're going to go to the Mercury. That's the next stop. Mercury 2 wreck, we've got ourselves a, not a battery. <laughs> I knew there's a reason I need to go in here. Um, advantage of a bed is I could have just slept and waited for it, but uh, no. Okay, let's uh, do that, do that. And we'll keep that kind of like half empty batteries back up, but I shouldn't be using the, I shouldn't be using it as much. How's the battery on this guy doing? It was at kind of 90 when I last saw it. Yeah, that's about right. So last task for today, and this might lead to a shorter episode, I'm not entirely sure, but we're going to have a good rummage through the Mercury 2 wreck. Get to the edge of that precipice again, have a look down, see what's to see. And that'll be nice. Um, I'm curious as to where this wreck came from, because there's posters of it around and things like that. Like, I don't think we know much about the Mercury 2 wreck yet. Um, I think all our scanner said about it was that there is a 
you know, a titanium mass, as it were. So, how this thing crashed here, I'm unsure. I mean, it could have been the uh, the defense system. Like, we know that this uh, this planet was under quarantine for the longest time. Uh, a lot, the De both the Degassi and the Aurora crashed on the plateau itself. But it is... I remember thinking it was, like, a bit of a coincidence um, that, like, the two kind of plot-relevant ships crashed on that plateau. But maybe the answer to that is that, actually, no, loads, have shi loads of ships have been shot down over 4546B in the past. Like, why... Like, maybe this one crashed here, like, a bunch of them crashed into the trench and so on so I like for me that feels like it makes sense that's a good explanation as to why uh, this would be All right, here we go so also it kind of makes sense that like the Aurora went to 4546B looking for the Degassi um, if it was following its flight plan like its trajectory and things like that um, as it uh, entered the planet then it probably would have been shot down at around the same time and therefore would have landed in roughly the same place so that kind of like explains that too which is nice what is that down there is that that was lithium it's just catching the light k7 huh well we know that there are leviathans out here and that they actually like a room but uh we should be okay to just um Gonna skirt the edges here. This weighs in. Uh, we saw one round here. Oh god. Frames, frames, frames. Okay, this is looking about right. Interesting noise. Any but let's uh have a have a nosy, so that there. In fact, that can go there, this can go there, because we're not using the Habitat Builder right now. What are these, Spinefish? I recognize you guys. You Are we in the spooky biome? Okay. Let's see what's inside. Hopefully we can explore this entire place just through this one kind of port. Um, not thrilled about the idea of having to skirt the edges of this thing. There's monsters out there, you know? Oh, well that's handy. I mean... Is this the sort of thing which I can clear out using a propulsion cannon? I suspect it is, unfortunately. Do I go back and get that now, or do I explore what I can? I explore what I can. Let's see. Shouldn't be any particularly large monsters inside here. Oh, that's nice. Feel sorry for the guy who has to lug that crate around. It looks exactly the same as the others, completely different. We're just gonna get a case of supplies here. Reminds me of Soma environments like this. God, I love that game. It's so good. Oh, hey. Parallel processing unit. All right, cool. Can I um, scan anything else here, which might give me more of that particular pla parallel processing unit? What would I use that for? You get a data entry for or anything like that. <sighs> this music, yo. Yeah, I don't think these doors will want to be opened, right? Okay. Oh. Uh, I can only do repairs in spurts. That's so inefficient. The larger tools seem to set off seismic activity nearby. Oh. A crew came back telling stories of gigantic worms burrowing in the ice. No shit. I don't know what they're all going on about. They were hypothermic and frostbitten because they walked back to avoid angering them. <laughs> the ice shelf is probably a bit unstable and they got disoriented or something. To borrow from Diana. Orion's belt, thermal couplings, are not meant to be worked on in 20 minute spurts. If we break the process, we'll break the ship. <sighs> but it's nice to hang out with Yasmin while we wait for the rumbles to stop. I hope she doesn't mind all my questions. I love hearing her voice. 
Her face lights up, and she's got the most expressive eyebrows. They're practically acrobats. <laughs> the way she looks when talking about nuclear engineering is the same way I look at my grandmother's domades. The woman never sits down, though. Oh. She told me that she used to do decathlon in college, and I can believe it. She's like a bouncy ball, just all over the place. She makes rounds on the ship every day to see if people need help. Oh. Hmm. I should do something nice for her. She's always helping everyone else. I wish I had a fraction of her energy. <laughs> Who's somebody's a smitten kitten. Nice to get in here without having to... Cool, okay, that's some good stock. Very nice. What I wouldn't give for a storage module. Some oxygen. So that guy seemed alright. Um, let's see. Yeah, I can only do a person's spurts. Larger tools. I wonder if he's trying to, um... Hang on, hang on. Let's take a second to have a look at that. Oh, it's nice to have the light shining outside, actually. We have a look at that. Um... This was obviously after they crashed. Uh, thruster repair, yep. Thermal couplings are not to worked on 20 minutes spurts. <laughs> uh, Yasmin. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh. <laughs> Didn't see that before either. Uh, don't mind if I fucking do it. <laughs> As I've said before, another base building is uh, on the horizon, and uh, so that's why I've been kind of like picking up this metal salvage and things like that, and this uh, titanium. When I can get it, it feels like a good opportunity. Could I had to cut through a laser chest before? Uh, yeah, actually, I do need that. Some good shiz here. Who's this? Oh, it's just another spine fish in blue lighting. Lovely. Um. Goodness, it's quite a. Oh, is this not open? I guess it's not. It looks like. I mean, I can swim. Like, they can swim there. <laughs> That's metal salvage, too. I guess I should uh, draw the line somewhere, you know. Good source of uh, salvage, but I need a bit more room to pick up anything interesting I can find. Um, little things like that are pretty good. It's essentially two silver. Oh, um. That uh, sounds like a crypto socket to me by now. Okay, once I have done this, I will nip back up again and uh, grab myself some oxygen. Oh. Ah, here we go. So this is obviously what I'm kind of here to get. all three plants, but now that I've done that, I might as well. How's this doing? Just 73%. Can this, um, it can't map the ship. Okay, cool. Uh-huh, this too. Okay. This is fascinating. I'm enjoying this. I haven't heard that like electrical noise since the original Subnautica. Pretty sure. Bit bit turned around actually now. What's this? It's a laser cutter fragment, right? Well, as grand as that is, I'm running out of room. Oh, and this is the other side of that door. Nice. Well, uh, okay, do I wanna go yeah, okay. Let's finish exploring the pathway that we started first. Just trying to keep it still straight in my head. Chairs and that thing I cut open. Uh, oh, is this the end of no? Mm -hmm. 
goes on and on. Oh, this is the other side of the ship. Um, pardon you. Can I just shoot up for a bit of cheeky oxygen here? It's probably not worth it. Not when I ain't sure where I am. Although it is worth it if I get lost. Nice copper wire. Feels like they want me to make something specific, you know? Okay, yep, now officially lost. Uh, here. Oh, no I'm not. I'm right at the start. Where did I come up just there? Oh, through here, I didn't even see this. Wow, I, I got turned back because of a lack of laser cutter before, but actually you can kind of just navigate your way around. I'm gonna sneeze. I'm gonna sneeze. Ah, oh, saved your life. <sighs> All right, well, let's, um... The Pathfinder 2 will be handy here, of course, but I don't think I've even made one yet. Well, that was that way, and then it goes a bit labyrinthian, so let's just go for it. Try and find what it is we want to find here. Heading up. There's a cutter fragment as well, so obviously, like, if I, um... Let's just take, take. If I had not been able to um, cut my way in now, then this would give me the tools to do so. I just need, would need to like explore a bit harder first. So all this metal savage everywhere is pretty valuable. I need to remember this place. When I say bit base building, by the way, uh, what I am specifically thinking is like, do I want to set up something here? Oh, cargo, some kind of like interesting blue lights, an oxygen plant. Good. Okay, I'm going backwards now. I know where I am. This way, this way, this way, this way. Right, we're looking for another panel we can extract a parallel processing thing from. This should be the way I. Oh! <laughs> I really am turned around. Okay. Take your time. You're closer to oxygen at any one point than you think. So this was a dead end, I think, right? The size of these sea shrooms. hole here I don't think I even saw. Uh, where's the Nova from here? Just you guys. God, it's really disorientating when you're inside a tilted wreckage like this, isn't it? Kind of interesting music. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Yeah, I'm starting to learn where I am by the... by the, the items that I'm leaving behind. Like the copper wire there. I know I'm on the right path for exiting then. Comforting noises there. Okay. So I went down there last time. Let's, um. Yeah, let's go this way instead. Right, uh, what's down here? Cargo. An exit there. 
an exit there, which means that if I go... That way, that's the copper wire, that's the exit. So what's this way? That's where I kind of laser in to get that. Okay, there's got to be one more and I'm missing it somewhere. Interesting way in here. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Let's try something a bit different. Let's go on top of it. Or, or kind of like around it. Um, to see if there's any kind of like ways in or stuff that I'm missing. That I recognize that. Ah, oh, I can't get actually get in here. It's full of invisible walls, which is a bit mean. They're bleeding everywhere. as though I'm not finding anything out here. You know, I've been calling them Cryptosuckus for a while now. It's Cryptosuckai. Is that right? Am I just making that name up? Because my big issue with that name was that it wasn't very memorable. I'm never remembering it. Oh, look where I am. I'm honestly, I'm not even surprised. Whoa. What is that? Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. He's a peculiar boy. It's not our spiny friend. Oxygen. Yep. How are we doing on stuff? Um, boop. Got a scanner, got a flashlight. How are we doing on flares? Um, okay. You know me when I see a beastie. I don't know what happened there. So I saw, so I saw it here, and then it was past there. Ah, oh, it's gone now, isn't it? I'm not just gonna go leaping off into the dark. There in madness lies. I don't think it was the glow whale or the um the uh, the spiny red thing. Shoot. Missed an opportunity there. Oh well. That's okay. Uh, let's get back. I'm sure we'll come upon the same opportunity again uh, in the future. Have I been up here? Uh, yes, I have. I can tell by the laser pointers. Alright, I think I'm at the point now where um, I need to start doing some cutting because this is just kind of taking the piss. Um, I just need to kind of like logically explore everything. I do not know where this final thing is. I do not. 
I do not. Oh, hi, Mark. Um... Yarp. I think I, s I think I see it way out there. Trouble is no oxygen. There you are, gotcha. It's very sharky. It's kind of gorgeous. Is it running away from me? Nope. Squid shark. Gotcha. Bye. It doesn't really seem to care about me. Now it cares. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> I weave in and out of shipwrecks. That's my main defense mechanism. Whoa. <laughs> How do we do? How do we do? <laughs> He's a beaut, I have to say. Squid shark, see that's how you fucking name a thing, Subnautica. Alright, let's have a read of it. We earned it. Oh, I got uh, another thing as well, indigenous life forms. Fauna. Uh, okay, so it's not Leviathan. It's pretty big, but yeah. Well, first of all, um, yeah, we know about the spinefish. Uh, it's edible. Squid shark. Oh, it is Leviathan. Then why is it under Leviathans? It's just under carnivores. In fact... Uh... Ch Chelic Rate and, um... Glow Whales. Cool. Glow Whales, Chelic Rate, Crypto Suckers. I'm actually getting that. Um... Why this is here, I do not know. A Leviathan class, class predator at the smaller end of the scale with complex squid-like adaptions which allow it to hunt a wide range of prey. It expels swallowed seawater through vents on either side of its body, providing slow and steady jet propulsion or terrifying bursts of speed. It did feel like it was able to keep up with me for a lot longer than than it usually does. And I'm just going that uh, the, with the idea that it was chasing me at all. Um, in, whoa, why did I do that? In relation to... Uh, the chomping noises I hear, because I hear the same when the brute sharks chasing after me, when the crypto suckers is chasing after me. An internal jaw can be extended and clamp down around small prey, dragging them inside the mouth hole. Ugh. <laughs> um, two blue electrified tentacles dragged behind the body, uh, used to perform hit and run attacks on larger, slower targets. Subduing them over sighting. Love to get me a scan. You know, one thing, and yeah, I know I did hear what I said earlier about cutting through it, but I've thought of another thing to say, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Aha. Uh -huh. Uh, this, is this a window? Yes, but at the same time... I can get in there. It must be from above. How do I get... From above? Uh, well, anyway. Um, one of the big things that, uh was um, sparking my imagination when I played the original Subnautica was that I would see Leviathan class predators uh, or Leviathans in general and I would deliberately avoid them and just kind of let them stay on the horizon. Uh, so Reapers and things like... Reapers in particular, because I think the first time I scanned a ghost Leviathan I went for it and I think the first time I scanned most Leviathans um, was just when I saw them for the first time and just went for it. Uh, but, like, Reapers in particular were able to kind of, like, play on my mind more, have more mystery around them. See, I kind of, I want to go through here, but I can.
Yeah, actually a light stick might be alright just now because it would give me a radius as opposed to like a very small area. Let's just try and head up if we can. Um. Anyway, yes. Uh, so, okay, as advertised, I will now begin with the cunning Thu uh, to try and save you guys some, some frustration. Oh, 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 okay. Cast around here for a while, pretty much at a loss. Now we've seen something, now we've seen something big. Thank goodness I spotted that, um, that room that I couldn't access uh, from my entrance because Here's a vent. Run, 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 run. Leading right to where it is. Wikipedia data full. Unfortunately, oh nice. I still don't see what I need here. Uh, well, you know. Yeah, because that's where I was. And I still can't see like the last thing I'd need to laser cut to get at that parallel processing thing. Maybe this will have a clue. I finished the reactor checks. We dumped a ton of runoff and we don't need the rods melting down. Then I helped with the scavenging, chopped some veggies with the cooks and tried to help Diana, but she sent me down to engineering with Stephanos. I've been working with him the last few days. Stephanos, how to describe Stephanos? Hmm. He's by far the most thorough engineer I've worked with, and no ego. He never leaves a job undone, no matter how late it is. I've never seen him awake before 11, and he always greets me by saying, Galimera, Yasmin, in the sleepiest drawl. <laughs> Not a morning person, that one. <laughs> he listens with the slightest smile on his face and twirls this stray curl by his ear. He asks a billion questions, but I don't mind. He surprised me today. There's an empty room on the bridge, just a spot of negative space in the ship. Aww. He set the picnic there and said I need to relax. He even called me a busybody. There were these crazy glowing fungus things he found to set the ambiance. The most exciting part though, drum roll. He can jailbreak fabricators. Huh? He made a small batch of traditional Grecian dishes. But the craziest part? He managed to make a suitable falafel for me. I never thought I'd see a good falafel in deep space. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. A quiet genius, that one. This planet may be a cold mistress, but maybe it isn't so bad. That's really, really sweet. I'm glad that they were able to find each other in such circumstances. <sighs> it unfortunately doesn't give me the answer I was hoping for. That final parallel processing thing. Maybe I just need to kind of face up to the fact that it is not all here. It's very tempting to let the work of um, what you guys you normally do for me uh, tell me if I miss stuff, for example, uh, be done by walkthroughs, but um, I will resist for now. I really do think I've explored every inch though. I mean, the one other thing I could do is just keep my eye on the ceiling, to head back to the areas because uh, there was that upper vent, which made a huge difference. Is that the only one of its kind, I wonder? Hmm. Perhaps, 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 Um, I certainly didn't, um, uh, attain any sort of clue there. Warning. 30 seconds of oxygen remaining. Chow, right? Did you see, by the way, the cooked spine fish down, uh, by the base of the hull there? <laughs> I want to take three guesses how that got there. No, it wasn't made by the uh, by the the crew. Oxygen. There's a clue. Whoa, my my itchy trigger finger. There's a clue already there, which uh, confirms that it is not that old. 
can you guess? It's a huge mystery which no one would ever solve, and it's certainly not really easy to guess. <laughs> well, okay. Well, I think I'm going to wrap up uh, today's station. Disappointed that I couldn't find that final uh, piece of the puzzle that I needed. Those parallel processors. They look important for something, but maybe there's a further bit of wreckage. Um, it does certainly look like a good chunk of the hull is missing. So uh, maybe if I go further down. I should really get a sense of the skill of this place when you have to like traverse it. So look how fast I'm moving here, but uh Care's not a jot. Yeah, the hull broke off here. It had to, right? Like, that's it. Well. I don't know. I do not know. I just feel like I'm missing something obvious, but uh, I guess we won't know what that is for the time being. But we, uh, we explored the Mercury 2, ton of useful stuff, including like a whole bunch of salvage, which is going to be really useful in the future. And uh, we uncovered just a, a little bit of a love story, a nice little spark of humanity for the Mercury 2, which makes me happy. We couldn't find exactly the thing we were looking for, but uh, down the line, I'm sure there will be more than three fragments of that particular item in the game. So we must push onward, and indeed in future sessions, that's what we will do. We'll push uh, further down towards this precipice, because if I get back in my machine here, I think uh, that this is the, uh, the pilot's last on location. Uh, oh, oh, am I wrong? Wait, did I even turn that on? I did. Uh, yes, it's down there and actually really close by, so that's probably a pretty good next port of call. And all the while, um, we're looking for a place to establish kind of a proper ocean base. I think that up here might be a little too shallow, but I think we're not too far off, like, having a proper, um, home from home around this, uh, place. Once again, if I did miss anything in this ship, please do let me know in the comments. It will be a while until I see it, um, for obvious reasons. But, uh, well, better late than never, and I can always do a clean-up uh, video of that sort of thing. Plus, we got a scan of the squid chart, which is nice. So thanks very much for watching, folks, um, and I'll see you in... Ooh, it's pretty. Uh, I will see you in the next episode.